Hi everybody, it's Eugene Lee Show, and today I am going to talk about the integration of Oculus Rift into Arena 4D. Um, I started with uh, this a couple of versions ago, so it was a little tricky to get going, uh, maybe a couple of small bugs and stuff, but they seem to be all sorted out now. So uh, the first thing is obviously you need Arena, uh, Arena 4D Data Studio, and everything comes packaged in the installer. So you have the Oculus Lift, Rift drivers and everything that you need. So that's good, you don't need to go anywhere else. Um, now I did find that once you install the Oculus drivers, you will have to, uh, I, I signed up for one of their, they have like an account thing that you sign up for, and it's over here, and then there's like a, a control panel and stuff like that, and you can do stuff here with controls and everything else. So um, just a note here, when you do get the Oculus installed, on the settings tab, there's a general, uh, under general settings, it says unknown sources. I found that it won't work unless I turn this on. So if it's not a, a, a software program that it recognizes right off the bat, um, you're gonna have some issues. The other thing is gonna be your driver, okay? I have an NVIDIA uh, card in here, a separate video card, but you need to install the latest and greatest drivers, okay? If you don't, you're gonna have some issues. So please keep that in mind uh, and make sure that you've got those installed. Once those are all installed, what you're gonna need is a controller. Now, if you think you're gonna be using a regular mouse, uh, it's not gonna work out for you. So uh, I have two options here. One is gonna be a, a 3D connection mouse. Uh, I was resistant to getting one of these originally, but since I've got one, there's no turning back. I use this for 3D Studio Max, Rhino, uh, uh, data Studio, uh, just uh, Cloud Compare, all kinds of programs. It's a fantastic, fantastic uh, 3D controller for, for getting around point clouds. However, for uh, uh, Data Studio here, what I'm going to be using is a Logitech game uh, controller. And you can pick up one of these for, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 bucks online. They're not that expensive. You go to your local uh, Best Buy or you know, electronics store, you, you can probably grab one of these, no problem. I believe the Xbox controller will work too, and uh, I didn't have a lot of luck with it for some reason, and this was just an easy, quick solution for me. Now, in terms of the Oculus itself, I've got the developer kit too, so this is not the latest and greatest, okay? But it seems to be working, and um, it's it's fairly easy to integrate. Um, there's, you know, cables, feels like cables going everywhere. The newer version, I think, is a little cleaner, but you need... Uh, uh, power, um, you've got a cable that runs to the Oculus headset, and then on this uh, side here you've got an HDMI port and you've got a USB port as well. Okay, so I've got a point cloud loaded at the moment on uh, uh, in Data Studio, and I can obviously manipulate this with the mouse and zoom in and stuff like that, but I'm going to switch. There's just a button up here that's uh, just called Oculus Rift, and if I click that now, I get my, my split view here. Okay, so now if I move the headset up here and I start turning around, you'll see that stuff is happening. Now let me zoom in a bit here. I'm going to see if I can zoom in a bit and I'll just pan this up so it's a little clearer. And so that, that's what I'm doing right now. So as I move the headset, you know, around, you kind of, there's a little bit of latency that you can see, but not too bad. Okay, um, so when you put this on with the controller, which is what I'm going to do right now, so bear with me. I'll put this on and I'm looking at the point cloud and I'm gonna grab the controller. Now the controller itself, if I, if I just use, actually I take this off for a second. If I just use the controller, okay, I can pan left and right. Okay, you can see that in my view, up and down type of thing. And I can also move forward and back. Okay, no problem, I can do that. But with my headset, I'm gonna put that back down. As I rotate left and right, now you can't see me, but I'm rotating my head left and right, the same thing can happen. I'm gonna start panning up. Um, the game controller is really useful because it also has some rotation. So if I go left and right, I can rotate this thing and I can look around. The other thing that's cool is if you look in the direction that you're traveling, you will turn in that direction. So if I look up, I start to go up. If I look down, I start to go down. I go to the right. If I turn to my left, I start to turn left. And you can, of course, uh, enhance these controls with the game controller. So now I'm just turning around by using the game control because it's hard to do a full 360. So, um, you know, you can sit here and play with this thing all day pretty much, but uh, that's, that's the basics of it. And, you know, it's, it's kind of exciting because it means, you know, you can get immersed into your point cloud. And uh, I think what's next here is going to be, you know, the whole interactivity part, because uh, at the moment there's not a lot of uh, clicking and other things that I can do here uh, other than uh, look around. So um, that's the basic setup. 
It's uh, a lot of fun. Uh, if you do have this thing on for a while and you're not used to it, you can get disoriented. But um, if you do have one of these things, you can give it a go and bring in your point clouds and then start flying through your point clouds. Thanks a lot.